welcome to today's video. Uh, today I am drinking wine. So um, this is gonna be a wine and haul. And this is a mini haul. I didn't get a whole lot at Ulta today, but I did wanna include what, what I also got at TJ Maxx. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's just get into the video. Some crazy stuff might happen. We'll, we'll have to see this. This wine is really good. Oh man, I love red wine. Okay, so first I wanna talk about um, something that, well, I actually originally got this product from TJ Maxx and I fell in love with it and then I couldn't find it at TJ Maxx anymore and I guess it's because they were just repackaging it. So that's why, well, I got it at Ulta now, so. Um, but this is the Eco Tools Makeup Brush Shampoo. I love this. Um, I have been using, you know, for the period of time that I wasn't, I couldn't find this anywhere. Uh, I was using baby shampoo to clean all of my makeup brushes and my sponges. It was great and everything for my makeup brushes, but for my makeup sponges, it just like, it didn't get them as clean as I really wanted. Like usually when I use my sponges, I like get them wet and um, wring them out. And then I'll use a towel to like wring out the extra water that I can't get out with my fingers. And there would be foundation on my towel still, even after, right after I washed it with baby shampoo. So it was really, I was really upset about that. And um, there, I mean, wasn't a whole lot I could do about it I guess I don't know so but anyway something that gets my makeup sponges like super clean that I love and I'll insert some pictures right here of how clean my beauty blender got which I, I want to add that beauty blender is normally white um so that's why I love this very much it is I have already gone through two bottles of the original one maybe it was I don't know if it's the original one but like the old one I think it had like a a more blue this one's more green um, bottles of this and I honestly don't remember it smelling as good as this one smells this one smells so good it smell what does it smell like like it kind of smells tropical I don't know it smells really good so but I think I'll only be using this for my makeup sponges since I'm okay with how my makeup brushes have been coming out with the baby shampoo and I mean this bottle was like eight dollars so I mean it's not crazy expensive but I'm just like I would go through it a lot faster if I use it for my makeup brushes next um, this is a product that I saw on a display maybe about a month ago and I tested a lot of the different colors on the back of my hand and I do this with products a lot of times and I'll see if like they last later on during the day like whenever I'm like washing my hands or whatever and if they last through that and I just kind of can't stop looking at them on my hand, but I'm like, oh, I need to go back and get that. And this was one of those products. I just thought it was like such an interesting color. Like it was this color specifically that I really wanted. And I couldn't remember exactly what color it was. So I had to go back in the store and swatch them again and like make sure I was getting the one that I really wanted. Um, but so this is the uh, Holographic Halo Eye Tint by NYX. This is the shade Galaxy Glow. Now this color is really interesting because it's, okay, so like when you first see it, like it looks orange, goldish, but it has like this like blue green shift to it. And I actually have it on my eyes right now. And I think it looks like more blue on my eyes. I don't know, it just, something is really cool to me. Like if it's duochrome, I guess that's the proper word for it. But, um, you know, if it looks like one color and one light and then like another color, another light, I don't know. It's just, it's so interesting to me and I, I love it. So, um, that's why I think I'll only be getting this color. And as I'm, I don't know if you guys know from previous videos that I have that I am obsessed with like liquid, creamy, whatever, these kind of eyeshadows, they're so easy and like they make it kind of easy to do. Well, they definitely make it easy to do like a cut crease or like a half cut crease or whatever just because you draw them on i mean 
they're just great. I love them. I love them. They're great. Um, this is the first time I'm trying this particular brand um, and collection. I've never seen this one before, so I'm wearing it for the first time today. So, so far it's holding up really well. I will go ahead and swatch it on my hand so that way you can see what it looks like. I will say on my eyes, I did have to kind of build it up. See, it looks orange on my hand. And then kind of, I don't know. See, but it looks blue on my eyes. Am I crazy? Like, right? Oh, I just love it. It's just so pretty. Okay, the next product I want to talk about is um, I got the uh, Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Extreme Black. And I got this... Okay, I've never, I've never had this before. This is my first time buying this product. I've, um, I really like the idea of pen eyeliners and I've been watching a few other YouTube videos on which eyeliner is the best one or whatever. Um, and this one's gotten a lot of really good reviews and it's really, really black. I was using a Milani like ultra fine pen and it just like wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be well this eyeliner it is as dark as I want it to be so very excited about that I'm also wearing that today the next item I got was another uh, makeup revolution conceal and define I I just really love this concealer and I needed another one uh, so, cause I ran out very quickly of the first one that I got. I really like this concealer for like under my eyes, not so much like on the rest of my face. Cause sometimes I feel like it takes off my foundation. I don't know. That's how I feel. But so it's really good for my, under my eyes, but everywhere else is like, eh. And then the last product I got at Ulta was the Essence brighten up banana powder and I think this is supposed to be sort of similar to well at least I heard it was sort of similar to like the um the new KKW um brightening powder that came with like the concealing the concealer sets I'll put it right here and like, it's not metallic by any means, this right here, but it's kind of just got like a little light reflex in it. I don't really know how to describe it because it's not glitter, but it is very pretty and it's, you're supposed to put it like under your eyes or like wherever you want to brighten. And uh, I just saw so many rave reviews that I've honestly been looking for that in store for a long time because I know I probably could have ordered it online, but I hate ordering stuff online because well, things get broken, things get lost in the mail, and then I have to pay for shipping. Like, I would just rather not. So, um, I was waiting until I found it in store, and I'm so happy that I found it. I'm going to need another glass. This wine is so good. Okay, that's it for the Ulta bag. Now, uh, I got even less stuff at TJ Maxx, but... Um, I guess two of the things are beauty related. Uh, so I got this uh, retinol anti wrinkle serum. I love what, well, okay. I have something like this. I think it's the retinol um, beauty oil by the same brand, formula number 1303. Sure, yeah. Um, but anyway, I've been loving that and I've had it for at least a month and I use it pretty religiously at night, but I've been trying to find it again and the place I originally got it was TJ Maxx and so, uh, or Marshalls or one of those. So I wanted to try and find something like that again. And this was like the closest thing. I mean, it's pretty similar, I guess, cause it's the only difference is this is a serum and that's a beauty oil. I don't know. So I got this and I'm pretty excited. So we'll be trying this. Okay. And then, um, I got this baby unscented per soap. I don't know. I hear this is a really popular kind of soap 
and uh, I've never had it before. I know there's a lot of scented ones, but like scents freak me out sometimes. And the scents that I've been seeing for this particular kind of soap is like peppermint. Well, that's the main one that I've seen. So I'll just stick with that one. Um, and that, like, I hear you can use this on your face. Um, you, I mean, you can use this for like literally anything. Cause I, I want to know if this is really unscented. Is it going to smell like nothing or is it going to smell like something? Oh my gosh. It literally smells like nothing. Oh my God. It smells like nothing. Okay. I actually kind of like that. It doesn't smell like anything. So, well, anyway, they had this little tiny bottle of this and, um, I just wanted to kind of try this kind of soap out just to see if I liked it or not. Cause I know this is like super concentrated and you're supposed to like dilute it and stuff. So I wanted to try this. The next couple things I got are actually right back here. Uh, I needed to get a small, uh, little carry on luggage thing for my trip this weekend. I'm going to California for my sister's graduation. Um, she's graduating from college and I just need a small bag because I'm going to be there for the weekend, but I'm flying and I just, I'm 25 and I don't have a freaking carry on bag. I need to get my life together. So I'm trying <laughs> with this. So I needed a smaller bag and I thought it would be really awesome if I could get a bigger bag too so they like matched and it was like cute and everything together so um so I got two bags even though I only need one right now but they're so cute they're rose gold and they have stars all over them and they're like they're like hard doesn't they're not like super soft yeah yeah that's that's what I'm trying to say in case you are curious, the wine I am drinking is called, it's by the, um, it's, sorry, my leg, oh, my foot fell asleep. <sighs> my foot feels really funny right now. Um, this is by Cupcake Vineyards, which I know is like basic. It's the Red Velvet blend. And I think I tried this a few years ago and I thought it was too dry. But now that I like drier wines, this tastes a lot better. Yeah, that's what this is. If you have any wine suggestions for your girl, let me know. I need to know. I love wine and I I'm just get really overwhelmed whenever I go to buy wine because there's just, there's so much. And I mean, I kind of know like the flavors that I like. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm like really, really into wine that I can taste like, oh, this has a hint of chocolate and a hint of lavender. Like, I can't tell that right now. I mean, I know I like red wine and I like white wine, but I don't like super sweet like Moscato. But, you know, I really like cab cabs. If you know of any really good wines, let me know. It's bandana. I like this bandana. I've been wearing this look in my hair for... Well, I guess this is the second time I've worn it. I kind of like it. I wish these weren't so straight. <sighs> Sorry, I had to go get another glass of wine before I filmed this outro because <laughs> I'm literally the worst at filming them. Thanks guys for hanging around. Sorry I'm being a little silly, but I'm really not sorry. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next one. It finally stopped snowing. Thank you so much, Michigan. I appreciate you for finally giving us the weather that we deserve after that long, hard, well, I was only here for a couple months of it, but still, I needed this weather. I'm from Texas, goddammit.